Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to authenticate a domain with Google Workspace. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Google Workspace, I want you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Authenticating a domain with Google Workspace involves verifying ownership of the domain and setting up necessary DNS records for proper email and service functionality. So, once you are logged into your Google Admin Console or to the Google Workspace, I want you to hover to the account settings where you can find the domain section. All right. Now, matter of fact, I have the domain section here and all I have to do is click the Manage Domains and enter your domain name and click and continue if you want to add a uh, third domain here but in my case i have the uh, verified domain section here all i have to do is if, if you have this just click the uh, verify domain it's kind of easy it will forward you to this section all right and click the get started button now you just have to select your domain host all right, so if your organization will be able to use Google Workspace apps such as Gmail, Calendar, Drive Meet, you just have to choose your domain hosting provider. Is it going to be from Amazon Web Services, Bluehost? So it's up to you, GoDaddy. In my case, I'm going to be choosing Squarespace. All right, if your domain uses a different host, just click this button, but we're not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to click the Squarespace and click on continue. You would be forwarded here. All right, now all I have to do is go to the score space. Now for CNM record, if you want to have an alternative code for verification, we're going to add this later. All right, this is for alternative code for verification as well. But for now, the host is going to be set to default value. All right, you just have to follow this strictly. Otherwise, there's going to be an error later. All right, so the host is going to be set to default value data is this just copy it and the ttl should be set to default or lowest value if you don't know that just select the default value and click the go to squarespace in my case my domain hosting is squarespace how would you know because this is my domain for example and this is powered by squarespace and from here just click this button right here you would be forwarded to the domain all right and all i have to do is log in to your domain section you will be forwarded to a domain section right here and click this button right here. Now, remember the instructions from Google Workspace. We need to add a new record. All right. Click this button right here, add a new record. And that's going to be, remember the host or the type, it's going to be a text. All right. Value is this and just copy the data. All right. I'm going to copy this, set the host to default value type is text all right host is app value and i want you to click on save it's kind of easy all right so once you've done that the next thing is all right is to add the cname record if you want it all i have to do is copy all this information here in the google in the uh, square space so I highly suggest you save it to, a, say, a WordPad so it's not like you're keeping switching from different platforms. So we're going to add a new record and the host is going to be this, right? Data. TTL. Just leave it as it is. Type is CNAME. And all you have to do is click on save and that's that, all right? And then as you can see, leave this page open while it's verified your domain DNS settings. This can take a few moments. Hopefully it's successful. But if you do, you should be able to receive something like this, that the uh, domain was successful. All right. Takes a little while, probably five or 10 minutes, depending on the traffic. Now you can also go to the Google admin toolbox to check if, and to verify if all the records are set up correctly. All I have to do is type in the, uh, domain name and it will run the uh, things for you and once you've done that you would notice that the domain is fully verified right here okay 
And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.